Hello, hello, welcome to Quebec City. It's Rum Atlas. Stay tuned for this amazing fortified city. I'm on a three day solo trip to Quebec City where I'm going to explore the history, culture, food, and arts. Let's start with the food at Cafe Paillard, which is a French bistro. The bistro feels as if I've stepped into France with its delicious croissants and baked goods. While there, I plan my itinerary before hitting the streets to check out the sites of Quebec. Turn right onto Rue Saint Jean. They have a Lebanese restaurant here. My first stop is called Immersion Quebec, a 3D virtual reality show showing the origins of Quebec City. While I couldn't film the actual show, I felt like I was right there back in time in 1608 at the origins of Quebec City. I just finished watching the Quebec Immersion. It's a 3D show giving the history of this city. So I'm walking past this fortress area here in Quebec. This is so cool and unique. It kind of feels a little bit like when I was in San Juan, Puerto Rico with these walls and these hiking trails. This talks about the end of the French regime. Five days after their victory, the Plains of Abraham on September 13th, 1759, British troops entered Quebec City, which was in ruins after more than two months of bombardment. I'm looking for a matcha tea spot to work out of for a little while. After a historic city walk, I check out Bobu Cafe, one of my favorite cafes in the city, where I get a little bit of work done and grab a matcha. And if you love travel and history, be sure to subscribe right below for more travel videos. Look at this elevator, I'm in an icebox. And look, there's fish on the ground. <laughs> it's so cool. Whew, I'm back at my hotel. This is the Hilton, by the way. It is sunset here. Look at this, the whole city lights up. I'm walking around Quebec and I'm looking for a matcha latte. Nothing, just had a little deja vu. I'm looking for a matcha tea spot to work out of for a little while. On the way to the cafe, I stop off at a local shop selling traditional products of Quebec made by the Aboriginal peoples, including dream catchers and moccasins. After walking by Le Chateau Frontenac, I check into a cozy cafe to log on and get some work done. So I just finished grabbing a matcha tea at this cute little cafe. Look at these streets. Oh my god. Lunch break. So it 
is mid-October here and the weather is perfect. I think I timed it just perfect because all the fall colors are out but it's still blue skies. Check out these cannons. So these fortifications were built between 1608 and 1871 by the French and British regimes to protect and capture Quebec City. These cannons are from 1798 and they're all along this wall defending the old city of Quebec. So the city is built upon two levels. It's kind of like a citadel. So at the top you can see all of these cannons protecting the walls. And then at the bottom, you can see the rest of the city. Now I'm going to go check out the Museum of Civilization. I'm inside the Museum of Civilization here in Quebec. There's a lot of cool exhibits and artifacts about the origins of Quebec. The Museum of Civilization traces the origins of Quebec and shows what the city looked like when it was first founded. This is a model showing the Battle of the Plains of Abraham, September 13th, 1759. The British versus the French. So this section of the museum talks about the Aboriginal peoples. This is a video showing the first peoples. Looks like they definitely stayed warm. The First Peoples Hall celebrates the history, diversity, creativity, resourcefulness, and endurance of Canada's First Nations. Look at these beautiful moccasins. So this is a replica of a wigwam. In the middle is a drum, and the drum beat symbolizes life. It's like the heartbeat. So a lot of the crafts that the Aboriginal people make, they still make today. In fact, I saw a lot of the baskets and moccasins in the tourist gift shops made by the local people. Now it's time to grab a bite to eat at the museum cafe. This cafe is the perfect place to eat as a solo traveler because it offers free Wi-Fi, healthy food, and views of the Quebec port. I get a little work done and also plan my future activities for the day, including researching the Beau Arts Museum. Okay, so that was the Museum of Civilization. I actually worked from the cafe for a little bit. They had excellent internet. So if you're here solo traveling, I recommend it. So this area underground is circa 1667. Found the red door. Quebec was featured in a Korean drama, and this door has become very, very popular now. Do you see him? Jong Un, you came in. Did you see him? How did you see him? I need to watch that show now. The city is so cozy and decorated for fall. So this walkway is called the Promenade du Governors. In 1958, the federal government built the Governor's Walkway to commemorate Quebec's 350th anniversary. Woo, climbing up. View is looking good so far. If you're looking for an outdoor gym here in Quebec, 
the governor's promenade is your spot. So you can see the St. Lawrence River. Picked up some leaves on the way. Gorgeous. <sighs> the air is so fresh here. I just took the governor's promenade walk. It was so peaceful. Such a perfect thing to do if you're solo traveling. Also today I worked out of a couple cafes that were really nice. And I also worked out of the cafe in the Museum of Civilization that was really perfect. And there's so much to do. Like there's so many walks around town. There's so many cafes and restaurants. It's super safe. Oh, look at this lighting. I finished up for the day. I finished working. I'm gonna log on a little bit later for Spanish class. And I'm gonna head back to the hotel, but very slowly because these trees are so beautiful. It feels very French right here. In fact, the Parliament building was modeled after the design of the Louvre. Hello from Quebec City. Such a treat to be here for the next couple days. So follow me as I check it out. Okay guys, it's my last day here in Quebec. Just grabbed a coffee from the hotel room here and I'm gonna pack up and possibly see a museum and or walk around let's see oh my gosh you guys i brought this huge sweater and i didn't even use it yeah. ah. any cuter look at these little mansions the street is called Grand Allee and here is the Beaux Arts inside the Beaux Arts Museum here in Quebec and they have a jail here. Crazy. Look how small it is. This is cool. They have some local artists here. They're from Quebec. So this is what Quebec looks like during the winter time. Museum so far, they have about four buildings connected by these tunnels. 
and it ranges from modern, contemporary, to historical art. And I particularly liked the regional artists depicting the First Nations. This courtyard. Taking a little bit of a detour. Look at this beautiful park. This is the Plains of Abraham. All the leaves are falling. It looks like snow. So as beautiful as it looks right here, there was a massive battle in 1759. La Batille de Plain d'Abraham. This is what it looked like. This is it today. The final toll, it left 193 French dead and 292 British dead. British had eyes on Nouvelle France ever since the French arrived. So here's where they overtook the city and the victory fell to the British. Right here on the plains of Abraham. The people around here must think I'm crazy, but I keep picking up leaves. So the British built these towers. They were afraid that the Americans, having won their independence in 1776, would annex Upper and Lower Canada. So they built these watchtowers here. They turn the lights into ghosts here, and then everything is decorated for Halloween. had public executions here between 1763 and 1810. Large crowds would gather. That is a little scary. Okay, I think I'll be leaving now. Today I went from the Beaux Arts, I walked around the Parque de Champ de Batille, and now I'm here at the Museum of the Plains of Abraham. I don't think they're open still, so I'm gonna go back to the city. Okay, I'm in this really long dark tunnel in the fort. This is where the battles were. Crazy. Imagine if these walls could talk. So cool. Oh my god. This is incredible. Look at this language. I don't even know what language this is. Somebody comment below. I think it might be the in Inuit language. Oh, time to call it a day. Ooh. Okay, so let me take a quick sip of this maple water supposed to be natural hydration. Ooh. That's good. Coconut water, watch out. <laughs>